How Quartz Clocks Work The trouble with pendulum clocks, and ordinary watches, is that you have to keep remembering to wind them. If you forget, they stop. And you have no idea. What time it is. Another difficulty with pendulum clocks, is, that they depend on the force of gravity, which varies very slightly from place to place, that means, a pendulum clock tells time differently, at high altitudes from at sea level. Pendulums also change length as the temperature changes, expanding slightly on warm days, and contracting on cold days, which makes them less accurate again. Quartz watches. Solve all these problems. They are battery powered and, because they use so little electricity, the battery can often last several years, before you need to replace it. They are also much more accurate, than pendulum clocks. Quartz watches work in a very different way, to pendulum clocks, and ordinary watches. They still have gears inside them, to count the seconds, minutes, and hours. And sweep the hands around the clock face. But the gears are regulated by a tiny crystal of quartz, instead of a swinging pendulum, or a moving balance wheel. Gravity doesn't figure in the workings at all. So a quartz clock tells the time, just as well when you're climbing Mount Everest, as it does when you're at sea. Quartz sounds exotic. With a Q and a Z, it's a great word to play in Scrabble. But, it's actually one of the most common minerals on Earth. It's made from a chemical compound, called silicon dioxide. Silicon is also the stuff, from which computer chips are made, and you can find it in sand, and most types of rock. Perhaps, the most interesting thing about quartz, is that it's piezoelectric. That means, if you squeeze a quartz crystal, it generates a tiny electric voltage. The opposite is also true, if you apply a voltage to a piece of quartz, it vibrates at a precise frequency. It shakes an exact number of times, for each second. Inside a quartz clock or watch, the battery sends electricity to the quartz crystal, through an electronic circuit. The quartz crystal oscillates at a precise frequency, exactly 32,768 times. Each second, the circuit counts the number of vibrations, and uses them to generate regular electric pulses, one per second. These pulses can either power an LCD display, or they can drive a small electric motor, a tiny stepping motor, in fact, turning gear wheels that spin the clock's second, minute, and hour hands, 